Hello everybody, it's unboxing day. I got a delivery from Vinyl Me Please and I'm excited what's in the box. I know what's in the box, to be honest with you. Like again, it's just been done in one take. Unboxing videos naturally are in one take because I'm not closing it and faking my surprise. So yeah, I know what's inside. Uh, this is... Uh, um, I'm getting another delivery from from Vinyl Me Please and after that my sus my subscription ends so um, yeah we're gonna see again it's been delivered in a very thick cardboard no damages so far I'll always keep these because um, you get maybe in a situation where you send or deliver or getting records to somebody, so I'm not throwing these away. So what we here have is Frederick Knight, Vinyl Me Please release. It also says on the back, Vinyl Me Please classics. Hope you can see that. What I really appreciate is that Vinyl Me Please is sending these records and shrinks, which you can easily easily open i love it i don't have to cut in uh, usually the the shrinks are pretty much so tight and i'm afraid if i use the cutter or my nails that i'm ruining the cover so here we go um hyper sticker yep so nice obi And the printing is beautiful. It's a very beautiful printing. So let's get this open. Oh, that, whoa. Okay. This is very, very, very tight. And it's very tight because it has some has the liner notes or special notes in these books, which are typical for Vinyl Me Please. So that's very tight in it. Okay. I had some releases from Vinyl Me Please before and they were not in paper sleeves. Is it a paper sleeve? No, or I'm so happy. It's not a paper sleeve. Thank you very much, Vinyl Me Please. Really appreciate it. This looks to me like it's been the original, the original um, inner sleeve because it has uh, printings from other stacks uh, recordings from that time. It's the logo. So here we go. This is that's heavy. One hundred eighty gram label on the first side. And the label, yeah, you have seen it upside down, so here it is. Yep, and this is the label from the second side. This is 180 gram. As far as I know, this is the only album Frederick Knight released on Stacks. Afterwards, he had um, uh, another label, Juana, I think was the name, and he released records after that, but he never really had a hit like I've been lonely for so long. Um, many uh, consider him as a one hit wonder. He wrote uh, You Can Ring My Bell from uh, Anita Ward in 1979. So he had from, from songwriting uh, perspective uh, some hits, but um, as a solo artist he could never really achieve what he achieved with uh, I've been lonely for so long. So I'll spin that tonight. You can absolutely be sure that I'll spin that and I hope it's not wrapped. If you have seen also the other videos I've posted about the records from, from today, if they're newly pressed, I had really tremendous often problems. Um, I, all, I of course uh, changed the sleeve to a master sleeve so I can get it easier in and out. And I also put that one, I think in, in the, in the plastic for 
for the record where the record is so I have everything in one place but I won't put it again into this because you've seen it it's really really difficult to get that out and if you do if you do that often enough you get problems with you're making that you ruin that and like I say you can see it here in its full glory and it's really a nice printing and a great great release I'm happy to have that so sound wise I can I'll post a short clip about that so that was unpacking unboxing for today hope you liked that and uh, thank you very much for watching bye